I try to stay positive, keep, keep everybody around me positive. Most of us would say, why me, though? A man shot at a Liberty intersection sharing his survival story with First News. Zachary Woods lost both of his eyes in that violent encounter during June. He spent two months in the hospital working to recover. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier talked to Zachary and his family and friends today about the emotional ordeal and the person that they'd like to thank in all of this. She joins us live tonight in the studio. Abby. While an intersection in Liberty erupted into chaos just over three months ago after Zachary Woods was shot in the face in broad daylight. He is permanently blind, but tells me he finds a way to maintain positivity every single day. You just got to be positive. Can't be down, sad, because life goes on. So life going to go on. You might as well just live it the best way you can. Zachary's mom, Natisha Lee, says she's taken things day by day in the three months since her son was shot. He was rushed to St. Elizabeth's before being taken to a hospital in Cleveland just hours later. He had a major surgery and had to relearn almost everything after. His first movement, it was a miracle. She says she and her son still don't understand why he was shot that day and had never met the suspect, 55-year-old Kevin Mallard. Natisha begs people to have patience before permanently changing someone's life. Let's try to understand people before we just make a decision on weakening someone else's life for something they had nothing to do with. Zachary tells me he was working towards his dream of supporting his mom and his family with a music career when everything changed. With his family's support, he's learning how to do more on his own. It's, it's a lot, but it's something I can deal with. I can push through for sure. Zia Lowry, one of Zachary's friends, was at a restaurant across the street the day of the shooting when her friend pointed out his car. She's always known him as a supportive and kind person. He's caring. He shows love to everybody. I, you could ask him for anything, and it's still the same way. She helped Natisha start a Facebook page, raised to blind awareness in his honor. Natisha tells me since the shooting, they've been searching for a woman who helped get her son to the hospital. She says she's the reason her son is still sitting next to her. I just want to give you a hug, squeeze you so tight, and tell you how much I appreciate you. Zachary tells me he's extremely grateful for all of the support his friends and family have given him. So in the future now, what does it hold for Zachary and his family? Well, he tells me he wants to go back to pursuing his passion of music while he keeps learning how to navigate his daily life. All right, Abby, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Great story there. We have no more details now. The suspect in all of this, Kevin Mallard, is expected to be back in court this month. This is video of him in Trumbull County Court back in August. Two mental evaluations have been ordered for him. Mallard is facing a number of charges, including attempted murder in the shooting of Zachary Woods. He's also accused in a shootout with police. BCI is handling that part of the investigation. And tonight, Mallard remains in the Trumbull County Jail.